have a next is your stochastic oscillator okay note that note that a stochastic oscillator it will be between 0 and 100 okay and stochastic oscillator is based on the high prices low prices and the closing prices and typically what we see see is there during uptrend okay the stochastic oscillator are a uh, higher values and during downtrend the stochastic oscillator are at lower values now there are two items that are there so by default the stochastic uh, oscillator is considered for 14 day period and it is denoted as percentage k okay so this is red line is a stochastic oscillator k okay, percentage k 14 days and if you see this blue line blue line is the 3 day average of this percentage k so blue line it is percentage d k which is the average of the last 3 percentage k value right so please note that k this uh, stochastic oscillator will be between 0 and so if you see that i have highlighted this point 80 k 20 it means that k if the stochastic oscillator it, uh, it, it what we are saying is this is if it is above if it is above 80 it means that it is a overbought zone if it is below 20 it means that it is a oversold zone so you may buy here and you may sell here but please note that it is not always that uh, true because sometimes that pattern may uh, persist right so as an example so new technicians what they will do is they will just trade basic ba only on this 2080 which is not uh, correct so you have to combine this with other pattern right but the idea is that okay you have 20 and 80 80 is oversold overbought 20 is oversold 20 oversold means people have sold and now it will bounce back it will increase so you can see this see this over here it is 20 it will it is going to increase and if you see here it is 80 but it is going to decrease but it did not decrease that much you find that it further in increase that's why we are saying that it has to be it can be this is above 80 for a long period of time in case of our strong trends the stochastic can be above 80 for a longer period of time so there you need to see where it is cutting the pattern so here if you see this red line has cut the blue line okay from above it means that it will decrease okay so that's why you see that here it is below the blue line it is decreasing right so whenever you see this red line has cut the blue line so it is decrease so if you see that it is decreasing so there are some of the things that can be done but for us this is what stochastic is okay then next is your macd line macd line is created from the moving averages line so this red line is created as a difference between your 26 days moving average and the 12 day moving average so this is your macd and this blue line is also called as signal line this is the 9 day moving average now in case of macd what we do is okay we have a buy signal whenever the red line it crosses the blue line from below so if you see here it's a buy signal and whenever the red line crosses from above it is a sell signal okay so this moving average convergence divergence can be uh, used by uh, people so that they can trade so if you see this is a buy this is sell like that and here again it is cross so it means that it is a sell right so this is your moving average convergence divergence it is it can be any value so it it is like zero is your k that zero value and it can be this is a plus positive convergence and this is your divergence so if you see that this is currently today it is diverging at minus 19